Hi folks, this is Vince and Vinny Jr. with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try out Dark Dealings. This is a board game that just came in today. It supports 1 to 6 players, ages 10 and up, and the average play time is about 15 to 20 minutes. This is our first time playing. I did read through the rule book, and uh, from what I read, it reminds me a little bit of the game for sale. Now, there's a few different phases to this game. Vinny's never played it before. I, I didn't even give him a rules primer yet, so I'll be explaining this to him as I go. Um, and if we make a mistake, uh, no big deal. It's our first time playing. So basically, we each start with nine of these uh, character cards here, okay? And these character cards on the top left-hand corner, uh, that's the health of that character. On the bottom left-hand corner is sort of like it's uh, priority, meaning that uh, later in the game um, we'll be determining who goes first when we play these based on the number that is shown here. The higher the number the better. But uh, you'll notice that like the lower numbers are fairly weak whereas the higher purple numbers here have a stronger uh, character. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be forming a deck of these heroes and then we're going to be trying to defeat them based on the cards that we draw from this trap deck here. So we each have nine cards. The first part of this game is a drafting process. So we choose two cards to keep and uh, then we pass the rest around. So let me see what I might want to... Uh, oh boy, okay, yeah. I must... Total trick must be exact. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to keep that one, and that one's tough. And now you'll notice that each of these cards also have three different, on the left-hand side there's fire, there's a green, I think that's physical attack, and purple is traps. Basically that's what uh, these characters are vulnerable to. Now there are certain traps in here of each of the three different types. So some characters are uh, vulnerable to all three attack types while others are only uh, vulnerable to the one. So you need to also, whenever you're picking your traps later in the game, which we'll get to, um, you'll want to keep that in the back of your mind. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that one and we'll pass the cards off. And now I get we get to choose two again to keep. Um, oh, the thieves in here. Now this one... Hmm. And basically the idea is to be the last man standing is what it comes out to be. Um, See, that, he'll get, if I keep picking low numbers, he'll get first dibs on the traps that come up. So I need to, I need to see if I pick something. See, that, that's a lot, though. Um, trash, it, let's see, that's also a nasty one. Um, I think I'll go with this one here. That's one, and... I'll keep... That one. Okay, so that's two. So I pass these over to him. All right, and uh, we choose two more. I'll go ahead and choose um, this one and I think I'll choose this one. Pass two, we pass these three. We keep two and discard the, the rest or the, the last one. So I'll keep this one and see I don't like the fact that trash a defense before striking. I don't like that. So I'm gonna use him. Okay, so we're gonna trash these. Okay, now we've got a hand of cards. Okay, we've got eight cards here and basically now this is where the traps come up. Uh, you're gonna, we're gonna be dealing two per player basically or twice the number of players in the game. So, uh, so we're gonna deal four face up so here's that one. Oh, that's a trap. Here's that one. They, they're all traps. This one and this one. Okay, so these are the different um, damage, or this is the different damage that this one deals. Like this one does the fire damage. This one does the physical damage. Uh, the number that's in the shield tells you how much damage it does. This one actually does damage to all three different types, which is kind of cool. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, now I forget what the little white number in the bottom corner is, uh, but... Let's see if I can find that and real quick. And this one does seven. 
Yeah, that one does seven, but now some cards can be used multiple times. Like you'll notice there's a seven here and a seven here. So whenever you use the card, you rotate it. Okay. Now, if there's a trash symbol on the one that you use, then that means you have to discard it. So you're going to keep rotating it until you're out of shields on that card, and then you trash it. Um, but I'm just looking to see what that white number is on the bottom there. And here's a quick look at the rulebook for those of you that are curious. Uh, C is the rank. The relative strength of a card also used during solo play. Okay. That's basically the number on the bottom right here is just the strength. So now we play two of our heroes face down. Then we reveal them at the same time. And then based on the numbers that we picked, on the bottom left-hand corner, there's the numbers like 1 and 41, 10, whatever. Um, whoever has the higher number gets first dibs on this, okay, on, on, on one of the ones they want. So um, let's see here. Can you guys see that? I think, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm going to choose, uh, is there a trap here, or is there something here I'm going to want? Yeah. So I'm going to do that one, and I'm going to... Do let's see. I'll do that one. Okay. So starting with the first player. Okay. Now we reveal them face up. Okay. So I've got a forty-two and a one. You've got a forty-four and a forty-three. So basically, you get first dibs. Like you get to choose two cards uh, base first because you've got a forty-four and a forty-three. So starting with your forty-four, I have a forty-two and a one. So this goes into a face-down pile. You'll be you'll be dealing with him later. Uh, like, you'll be going through this deck at some point. Um, so now choose one of these defenses to put up and face up in front of you. I'm going to go ahead and maybe move okay. the camera up a little bit. Alright, so... Here, let's move everything down I'll a little bit so the camera one. can see. So you're going to take what now? You're going to take this one? Okay, so yeah. that goes in front of you like this. Like so. Right. Okay. No. no, it goes like this. Because whenever you use it, you're going to rotate it this way. And here's the trap thing here. Okay, and this is your this is your deck that you're going to be drawing from. Now the forty three goes next, so you get to choose one of those. This one. Okay, that, that goes face up in front of you. These all tra all the traps go face up in front of you. This is this is going to be your arsenal to take out your heroes as your so this goes in to your character. Now I get to choose two. So you want to use the highest. So the forty two. There's only two left. Yeah, I'm just I'm going to take these two. This one goes like that, and this one goes like that. So I've got these two, all right. Now we choose, okay, now we flip up four more. Two, okay. Hmm. Now this one can attack all of them, but it's a one use card. This is fire, it's a two use card, fire and fire. Um, let's see, which one? I actually put these two. Some of those are actually nice. All right, I'm going to put that That's one down, and I'm going to put, I think I'll put this one down. Okay, so we reveal at the same time. I've got a 41 and a 2. You've got a 40 and a 38. So my 41 goes first. So I'm going to uh, take, I get first dibs. I'm going to take, now this one says rotate another defense card before striking. So if I use this card, that means I have to rotate another card, and I'm not, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to take this, um, this is physical damage. Um, I think I'll take this, this wild here, put that up in front of me. This is what I've got so far. I know it's kind of hard to see all this. of our cards, but... Alright, so you get to take two Easy. of them. So that goes face up in front of you. And then this one goes in your pile here. Now your 38 comes before my 2, so you get to choose another card. I'll actually choose this. Alright, so that's your fourth trap, and that, that goes face up in front of you, and this character goes here. Finally, my 2 resolves, and I get to choose this last card here. So I've got these so far. Okay? Yep. And now we're going to do the same thing. Four more come out. One, two, three... Four. How many of these aren't very good? Okay, so now I've got to choose two more to put face down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And... Okay, the problem is I don't have... A, not a lot of traps are coming up here, and that's a bad thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and reveal them face up. I've got a ten and a seven. 
31 and 27. Alright, so you get first picks. You get all, both of your characters. So first the 31. I'll take this. Alright, and then now you're 27. Which one do you want? Uh, let's see. I'll actually take this. Alright. And uh, I have to resolve a okay, the 10. So I have to take... You took a lot of one numbers. That's, well, yeah, I did. I was trying to make my deck easy, but at the same time, I might have screwed myself. I was hoping that a lot of high cards would come up and I would still get the high cards even though you were picking first. All right, last two. Uh, so wait, before we, let's just put this, this. That's not very, that's a good one, but that's, that's trash. A, that's a, yeah, well, it's a, it's a one-use card. All right, so I've got two last cards. I've got a 22 and a 21. 28 and 14. All right, so 28 goes first. So you get to pick one. I have one, three fires, so I'm actually going to take another one of these. Okay, so that 28 goes here, and my 22 resolves before your 14. So I get to take, I'm going to take this one, my 21 resolves. So uh, I'm going to take, do I want the traps or do I want the fire? See, I've got a lot of fire already. I've got, I've got three fire and two fire. You don't have enough traps. I'm going to go ahead and take this one. What happened to... I could have sworn I just got a... Didn't I just get a trap card? What did I do with it? Oh, uh, you might have put it in the Yeah, I did. Okay. So, there we go. And I Character goes here. I'll take a and, fire. And you got the last one. Okay. So, that's basically... So I got four fires. So, that was like sort of like the drafting process for our trap cards here. So, this is what we got. I'm going to move this off to the side, move this off to the side. Oh, this... And now we have to go through our own decks that we have here and try and take out the characters that we're going to be drawing in turn order. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so before we actually start drawing from our own character decks, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what cards we have. That way, um, as we're playing them, you're not getting confused as to what we're doing. So I've got right now a card over here. It's a strength of six. It's a trap card, purple trap. Uh, this one uh, has three uses to it, but it can only do one damage each time. Uh, and by the way, whenever you do use a card to rotate it to attack uh, one of your characters when it comes up, you can only use it once unless otherwise noted by the card. Uh, so I've got two of the, I got actually three of these green guys here. One's, one, there's a two fiver here, uh, three are here. Uh, for each other, uh, green physical card you have, add plus one to this strike, so I may want to use this one first. Uh, there's a two over here, uh, then there's a fire ones here, three and two. This one says for each other fire card you have, add plus one to the strike, and then I've got this wild card over here. Uh, I could, it could be used for anything, but it has five attack, it can only be used once though. And then if we come over here to Vinny's, uh, I'm just going to kick the tripod. That won't be good for me, because only fires I have. Alright, so you've got, um, you've got a lot of fires. Um, this one says rotate another defense card before striking. So that means that you've got to use one of your other cards, like rotate it, you know, when you're attacking. Um, I don't know if that counts as the strike, though. I don't know if it does or not, but you'll probably kill it anyway. I mean, seven, seven attack here. But anyway, you've got a two, a seven, a five, and a one, all of which can be used twice. And this one can be used three times. One, three, five. That's pretty good. Then you've got um, rotate another defense card before striking. It's a seven and a seven. So you've got a lot of power, but you're going to be flipping a lot of things around. Seven, seven, three, and five. Okay, so that's the police coming to take us away. Um, let's go ahead and put the camera back up on the tr Actually, it's an... Yeah, it's the... Actually, it's an ambulance. It's, they're taking us to the funny farm. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put the uh, camera back up onto the tripod, and uh, we'll resolve our decks. Last man standing wins. So let's get to it. All right, so my first one is... The Ranger. He has a health of five. He is vulnerable to green and purple attacks. So I'm going to go ahead then and which card do I want to rotate? Now I could rotate, now if I did this one, for each other green card you have, you may add one to the strike, but that only gets me to four. And I don't want to have to rotate two cards to get to this. Or I could, I could rotate this one, use that strength, actually for each other green card you have, add, no, okay, plus one, plus one. So this would give me five attack, and I could take them out in one hit. Um, and I think I'm going to do that. Do I want to do that, or do, do I just want to use this? 
because I could rotate this card and be done with it. Uh, this is also this will also provide five. Hmm. That one actually might be better, James. Well, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, and uh, that, I, been good that rotates. Now this is a trash symbol, so um, I can't rotate it anymore. So there, this is my five. So I defeated this guy. So he's he's dead. Now you get to draw one. Oh, it's a wizard. He's gonna eat the traps. All right. So you've got his strength is uh, four. four. But it says here, trash a defense before striking, meaning that you have to get rid of a defense, period. So pick one that you're not going to ever use and get rid of it. This one. Okay, so it's your twos here? Yeah, yeah. so this is his twos here. He's going to get rid of that. He has to trash it. Uh, but he has a, it's, he's vulnerable to traps. So he's going to use... You can either use your purple seven or you can use your wild, but your uh -huh. wild only does three attacks. So yeah, that's all right. So you're going to rotate that to one side. The, okay. the next tap, the next tap on that, or ro next rotate, will end it. So you overkilled him, but you still beat him. And now my turn now. Wow. All right, I've got a ranger seven uh, seven strength, uh, but he's vulnerable to all three things. Um, so I have to flip two. I'm going to have to flip at least two. So whoever. Defense is last the longest wins. But yeah, whoever, if you can't defeat the card that comes up, you're out. Basically. Uh -huh. So the question is, how? what am I going to use? Look at my card. All right, I could use, for each other fire card you have, add plus one to the strike. I have one extra fire. So I could do, now I don't know if the wild cards count or not. I'm, I'm just going to say they don't, but um, anyway. So that would give me four here. Do I have a three anywhere? I don't. So I don't want to overkill. Um, I could do a... I forgot... That's the thing. I forgot what cards I have in my deck and you can't look. So you're supposed to remember what characters you kept. I don't remember. So now I'm kind of like, okay, so which ones do I use now? So there's a little bit of memory here that um, I totally forgot to think Just about. Just do it as they come. I could do a six and a one, but that gets rid of all traps except for... Oh, do they just stay there? No, well, no, this goes into your score pile. Oh. This is the score pile. Um, I'm guessing that's how many points I could play the... Just hold on, I'm thinking. I could play the five and then the two. I could do that. You so, could, let's do... One. Well, yeah, I'm going to rotate that one, and trash. I'm going to trash this one. It's seven, so uh, oh. that goes... So you don't want to trash as many as you can. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to keep as many as I can. All right, now yours is uh, four here. For defense, it says defenses that strike are trashed. So you want to try and only use one card on this if you can, which um, yeah, you, you have a tr nice. you're, okay. So you're going to use your last overkill. Your, yeah, you're going to use your last seven. Uh, buy it's, a, it's your only yeah. You buy berserker, but it was your last trap. You have to hope that nothing comes up in your deck that is only trap, because you've got all fire and all green. You've got I one really wild. Do that. Well, we'll see. I don't have any other traps that do that. All right, we'll see. Well, now it's my turn. Let's hope I can defeat these. Halflings must be defeated twice. This one has a health of two, but really has a health of four. So to defeat it once, I'm probably going to need a lot of twos. It's, it's, it's uh, vulnerable to everything. So I could use this two. This is one fire. <laughs> but if I use all my fire... No, just do one. Do this guy and it'll kill both. No, I think you have to you have to use a card to defeat it once, and then use another card you to defeat it. You have to use it. both fires, or it's your own. I could use other. I could use a two, then I could use the five, or I could use. Hmm. Because I can no. I can't tap this twice. There you go. Crap! I'm running out of cards. Um. All right. Let's do the. You think why I have? Right, I'm gonna have cards. to use the t two. To kill them easier. That's one kill, and then I'm gonna have to use. I'd hate to use this six, but I might have to do that to tr just try and keep each type in play if I can. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use the six on this, even though I really don't want to. All right, so that's that that kills that. All right, I'm down to four cards now. You get to draw one and see what you end up with. What is that now? Let's you take the fire. Okay. All right, so you have to, it's a I six fire or I'll rotate trap. this guy. I have to rotate another guy. All right. So. 
Okay, so you used the seven, which made you rotate another I'll card. I'll make him rotate this. Okay, so, so you're going to rotate right. that card in the back there. But he's dead. <laughs> okay, nice. You're doing very well. I didn't okay. lose any defenses. All right, Thief. Total strike must equal armor exactly. I need a, I need a, a five, which I have. So I'm going to go ahead and use the you five. You have to trash it, though. Or use well, yeah. this. Well, I'm not using my wild yet. I'm going to try and hold on to that as long as possible. Like Oops. It. Yeah, let's see what you get. I've got three of a these. Seven. A seven. Oh, and it says even... defenses may strike multiple times. So you can use, you can tap a defense more than once if you want. I can to. beat him with one shot. I'll use this. That asks me to rotate him. Like so if you if you use the seven, you have to rotate something else. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Your green seven. Which I would just do this. You're gonna so rotate the the wild one. Yeah, but he kills him instantly. Okay, so you have this to rotate. This guy rotated, but he dies instantly. Okay, we're getting through the deck. Halflings again. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and rotate. It's vulnerable to everything. I'm going to rotate this once for one kill. And then, do the and then I have to use the... Now, on the halfling, can I use the same card or no? Each defense card may still strike one, so players will need at least two defense cards. Yes, okay. So I'm going to have to use my fire. Which will you go to four? Well, all right, so that goes... Okay, so I have two cards left. Not good for me at all. I have six. I know, you have six cards. My turn. Berserker. You sweep the fire. Okay. All right, so you've got, uh, it says, defenses that strike are trashed. So yeah, I'm using the seven. You're going to use the seven to, there you go. Now, it says rotate another defense card before striking. So well, you have I to rotate. Can't. All of them are rotated. Well, that means you have to trash something. Oh, no, you, there you go. You have that five there that you just rotated. So you get to keep. Well, I'll last more than you did, so... Alright, uh, this guy's a three. Do I just keep going? And Hold on. This is a three. Total strike must equal... I can't do it. I don't have a three, so <coughs> I'm out. What do you... Okay, what, this is for fun. Let's see what you got next. Let's Nine. see if we can get through your deck. It's a... You have to say def multiple defenses may... Or defenses may strike... I'll discard this one. You're going to discard that one for the seven. Okay. And you beat him. Next card. Berserker. He's is a five. A Defenses that strike are trashed. This one's already trashed. Wow, you're doing very well. You're, you That's might actually nice. get through your deck here. Fire, yes. You, you could use your wild and be done with it. Or, Total strike must equal armor exactly. Yes. yes. All right, so you actually got through your entire deck. I still had three <laughs> cards that I did not beat, so you beat me this game. Good job. Yeah. So my my strategy of going for the uh, plant or trying to recruit the low cards in the very beginning didn't work out for me very well because I didn't get to get I didn't get to pick the cards that I wanted. I got last <laughs> pick all the time for the most part. Whereas you got first pick and you got to pick the cards that rotated a lot. Whereas I got a lot of one shot cards. So yeah, uh, not bad. What did you think about Dark like Dealings? This. You like this game? Yeah. It's a, again, it's a little like for sale, but it's got a dungeon theme about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go, folks. Dark Dealings. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let us know. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.